Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 4th of August 2020 and it is for the sign of Libra. That being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to uh, resonate with everybody. So please do take what it resonates with you, what feels good with you and just leave the rest aside. If it does not feel right with you, it unfortunately was just not meant for you for today. Um, if ever you do have any questions, you would like to have your own private reading, your answers, your questions, your solutions, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the information on different type of readings that I may offer you. Also, um, I would like to take this brief moment. If you do enjoy my channel, um, please do show your um, show your support by subscribing and when you subscribe you show your support and you show your encouragement which are both very very important to me and to the channel so I thank you very much for that and now that that's done and said let's begin uh, oh actually no I wanted to say um, my second reading of the day is uh, third parties do they love me or do they love them so please do stay tuned in for that reading afterwards um, so let's begin I'm using here the Alice and Wonderland tarot, uh, not tarot, oracle deck. And here I have forget who you are. This is your message for today. It's conditioning falls away and memory no longer defines you. So you are amidst a new experience, one in which you have just no idea of who you are anymore. Now, paradoxically, this apparent loss of self is a beautiful gift. The loss of memory of the self is the, is the absence of the conditioning that defines us. It means we can approach new people and situations with innocence and freshness. And this is an opportunity to connect from the heart. Okay? Now, so it is which, you know, Alice here. I'm going to talk a little bit about Alice here. So it is with Alice when she enters at the looking glass forest with her magical powers. All who enter forget who they are. Thus, not knowing he ought to be frightened of a human, a fawn approaches Alice. She responds with an incredible fondness for the fawn and they meet in a simple affection, a connection, a friendship. When we forget what we have been taught to fear or to hate, it brings the opportunity for a whole new series of beautiful relationships to blossom. This is the situation you find yourself in right now. You need to forget what you tell yourself that you are. You need to forget what others have said you ought to be. Forget the enmity, the avoidance, the fear that we live in with far too often. Forget who you have been taught to be. Instead, reawaken the innocence of your soul. Unknown thyself, accept the mystery of you, okay? Within that open space, within that forest, where we are all just returned to our ancient, most natural self. We can all be one again. This is you discovering what can happen when you rely less on conditioning, on memory, on civilization, and more on your heart, on your receptivity and nature. New friendships, connections, gentleness, and joy is going to be yours. So please do um, accept and um, use this message here today. I think it is full of wisdom, full of love, and full of openness. So please do apply it. I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. If you do have any questions, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to stay tuned in for the next reading. And uh, we'll be seeing each other very soon. Have a great day and many blessings to you.